A warm namaste and a big hello to all of you amazing and beautiful people out there. Welcome to my channel. In this particular session, I'm going to be sharing something very interesting for the Twin Flame Star Seed community. People who are actually very much in alignment with the fact that they know that they need to do inner work and they're pretty much doing inner work, which is now a part of their lifestyle. But at the same time, they understand that time is also a dimension that they need to sort of understand because it is one of the out of the 11 dimensions. It is one of the dimensions. And for a lot of people in the Twin Flame Ascension journey, as per the energy that I'm picking up from the collective, I can sense that they are feeling a little bugged because of the time factor. And on certain days, it actually becomes very overwhelming and very intense so a lot of people actually actively feel that they are in the activated full-blown activated twin flame inner work ascension journey and they also relate with the star seed element whenever they listen to this type of content or watch these type of videos they feel a resonance and they might have even questioned it like if they are a twin flame or if they're a star seed so let me tell you that it all depends on the time frame that you're born in because most twin flame souls first of all they are not so many in number they are quite rare but the star seeds that are coming up to planet earth they are kind of going to increase a bit more it's not going to be that big a number but it's going to be a bit more than more than what twin flames uh, were assigned to be on the number that they were assigned to be on so a lot of star seeds actually took up the twin flame template also it is a very difficult template to be in individually also it is one of the most challenging challenging most difficult template to be on so people who were born a bit earlier than the current lot basically they were only you know connected to one relationship or one person and it was most of the times it was seen as they were in a worldly marriage and the marriage did not work out or they were in a very long term very deep romantic relationship but as time started changing and with all of the dating apps and media distractions and all of the confused programming that the people were going through one could include uh, some of the 70s like uh, mid 70 onwards then uh, 80s 90s and the millennials and for a specific number even a part of like a small ratio of uh, Gen Z's also would uh, relate with it but because of so many distractions it is not possible for a lot of people who are in the programmed reality just once understand the twin flame dynamic so they had to be in different relationships and that's where the concept of karmic started floating around you know like people were actually bothered by a specific person in fact more than one sometimes four five six seven also for some people number of karmics that were just you know taking their person away according to what they felt and this is for those who are dealing with the romantic uh, lies on or the romantic setup but those who go extremely deep into the advanced uh, inner work which happens post surrender which is into the harmonization illumination you know all these processes when they happen which also happens in phases and cycles and it is sometimes linear and sometimes non-linear also when they are going through these situations this is not just limited to their romantic relationship or romantic connections it's actually coming from their childhood coming from their family relationships coming from sibling bonds coming from the relatives coming from the society they live in coming from a lot of things is not just limited to their romantic relationships and lies on actually more widespread and it comes from their childhood deep rooted wounds that come from their childhood that definitely need proper healing like you cannot just ignore them because the more you ignore them no matter who you attract no matter what you do they just keep coming back the wounds keep coming back only the faces change only the people change 
but the scenario remains the same the same ghosting the same running or chasing whichever applies to you the same kind of behavior getting ignored not being on priority going through mind games it it doesn't end like and this is the reason why so many karmics are on both sides some of the people i don't know why they get very offended when i speak about karmic connections because they i think perceive karmics only to be sexual in nature or karmic relationship they feel that it just cannot happen to them so those are the people who might not be into the star seed uh, dna they could be simply running through the twin flame template which is obviously not easy as i always say this is not about superiority or inferiority this is not about labels this is not about tags this is just for the ease of communication just to make you understand this is not to generate any kind of spiritual ego whatsoever because ego death is literally what we are all in over here age earth in the new age earth what happens is basically a big shift is taking place the greatest shift is taking place and this is the reason why the whole world was into a frenzy into a lockdown in 2020 and many people's ascension journey got hugely activated so in this channeling session i do have a message for you all which is coming from the galactic federation from the higher benevolent beings to you they are telling you that the greatest shift is already here and you all saw it coming but then it takes time you know because nothing happens in a day and you all have to heal so much you have so many wounds you need to really focus on working on yourself constantly on a daily basis you have to be strong and not get tired and not feel so much pressure and relax and also accept you know accept accept acceptance is so 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 important because uh, if you continue to watch the other channeling especially the latest ones there i am trying to share this with you all because the sooner you accept these things like you need to do some amount of inner work every day that you need your chakras to get into alignment your energy body is actually the place where the switch you can say the control of your divine feminine and masculine aspects lie your actual union does not happen in the 3d reality and this is the thing that i've said multiple times because it is what it is i mean nothing nothing against anyone we are not here to speak against anyone but the fact is that lots and lots of people are giving you false hopes lots and lots of people are actually selling you the 3d union and makes you stick into the negative waiting energy so there are definitely two types of waiting energies one is when you are waiting but you're very happy and very relaxed it's more like you're very patient you're very calm and you're very relaxed and you're not doing anything as such in the physical reality other than the your motto your goal is to do inner work as much as you can and inner work is not something that will happen just like that inner work as i said has to come from your solar plexus chakra now these are details which people are not sharing because they don't have these details these downloads are coming only to very specific people right now and whosoever catches it is going to make the most out of it and maybe that's also a part of the design because we don't need quantity we need quality we need quality people the cream people the very genuine twin flames out there the very genuine star seeds out there and let me tell you they are rare they are very few no matter who says what no matter how many numbers you see wherever the actual people are not so high in number the number is not that big but this number is going to explode and it's going to become bigger in times to come and the people who are going to join the bandwagon are not gonna appear right away okay but the energy of the twin flames in union the energy of star sea twin flames in union is going to be very 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 massive and extremely infectious because you have to understand that in today's world the devil is not hiding itself there was a time when the devil was under wraps the devil was very hidden nowadays the devil is literally everywhere 
there are performances at grammy award shows every other rock star or pop star is doing rituals on stage live you know they are not hiding anything they are just saying in plain sight yes we exist and we worship the devil and this is it but why is it happening you have to think about it obviously the devil also is in desperate times right now because the devil knows that it's its reign or its rule is coming to an end or it has already come to an end so just before the end it's trying to take as many people down with with him it whatever you want to call it to hell and people only go to hell when they sin okay so they are going to attract they are going to make this this world of sinning very attractive so attractive so inspiring that more and more people are going to sin and more and more people are going to make that collective energy of hell higher so that all of them can go down together and wherever they go they obviously go into the underground they go to the patal lok and patal lok or the underground world is not a new concept yes i know in the western world lots of things were hidden lots of things were kept under wraps for a purpose but of course these these pieces of information are being made available to you so the swarg lok the patal lok and the prithvi lok these are the three main lokas and the people who worship the devil cannot live on earth as well as in the swarg lok okay or the higher dimension the 5d and above dimension so these people have to go into the underground and they got to live a very different lifestyle the lifestyle is going to be all based on ego and i will do a detailed video on that and of course there's a book coming up if you guys want to support my upcoming content and upcoming book on this subject you guys can choose to support me on patreon as well because i'm just writing a lot of stuff and it takes a long time to do that so you guys can be a part of this journey and whoever supports me over there is going to get the first digital copy of course that would be given to you free of cost or that would be included in whatever support you are going to be sharing you guys can also join the channel as a member and support this type of content the more people join the channel the more and more exclusive content is going to appear and already there is a lot of exclusive content which is meant only for the members see because as i said the quantity is not the priority the quality is the priority today maybe attracting a lot of people could be financially very lucrative or it could be like good in terms of uh, some other materialistic growth evaluation process how they do it these days but in the long run it will not be because you understand that star seed and twin flame energy it is not about genuinely work 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 they don't they don't come from the doership they can create they can create naturally a lot of things you know they are from the abundance reality they are not from the doership reality so you all have the power to create but you have to create it under the doership of source only and source is literally the provider source will never let you down that is that has never happened but you also have to work on your solar plexus chakra because the solar plexus chakra is literally in the middle of everything it is it requires that much effort like this is the only effort it requires you don't have to take any other worry on this planet like all the worries then automatically go up to source when you start working on your solar plexus and all those people who are working on it already they've started doing it they have been writing to me they have been writing to me about the peace they feel and one of the most important factors in actual manifestation is peace so whatever they have been teaching you so far like i can say this like with complete complete like chilled out attitude like no competition or anything but whatever you're learning about the law of attraction is incorrect and that's the reason why the whole law of attraction thing is 
never working especially it's not working for the twin flame star seed community the ascensioners always tell me that it doesn't work for me i've tried everything it doesn't work for me and the reason why it doesn't work is because the main missing link is not there like the missing link is your solar plexus is your manipur chakra okay but only those people are going to be able to talk about it who have practiced it and who have seen results otherwise it's very hard to even speak about because manipur chakra uh, connects you connects all the other chakras in your energy system and it unblocks the most important part which is sushumna and sushumna is responsible for carrying rising up of the kundalini energy the main shakti the kundalini shakti because when the kundalini shakti goes from your muladhara to your sahasrara chakra that's when all of the magic begins and before that happens the union happens within the masculine and feminine so that's why i'm saying that the twin flame union the star seed twin flame union is never a 3d thing because it's never a 3d thing and history proves that when you read about shiva and parvati when you read about radha and krishna when you read about shri ram and sita ji you will find out that their 3d union was not even there actually even for shiva parvati a lot of people who have studied the shiv purana or the story of shiva parvati they know that there is a big long history you know that they both go through playing the runner chaser dynamic or later on you know getting into harmony shri ram and sita they got into a 3d union first and then they moved into a 5d union and at that point in time in the 3d they were not together and radha and krishna never really had a so called 3d union but if you read about radha and krishna they were never separated if krishna would have a scratch on his body radha would also be full of scratches that's how they were okay so twin flames also share a very similar bond but twin flames are here for mission work my dear friends so in this particular channeling session the main message is to look for triggers anything that annoys you anything that triggers you anything that bothers you that is exactly where the work needs to be done and you have to be very confident when you're doing the work like you have to do the right thing without feeling any attachment because i'm telling you one more thing it's very hard and this is a fact very hard for a lot of people to even point out who is their twin flame if they've been in a series of relationship and most people have been a runner or most people have been a chaser like chasers obviously will not think that the other person is a chaser it's usually the chaser who feels the other person is the runner and if you ask the runner they will tell you that the other person is a runner so they're both thinking both of them are runners so doing different type of inner work like they're both doing inner work but they're seeking answers differently one of them is usually seeking answers via research work and the other is seeking answers via the matrix reality and this role also reverses like on certain occasions the one who was doing research work turns in to the matrix reality and the one who's in the matrix reality then turns into the research work mode so yes all of these things also happen a lot of times so whatever triggers you that's it even on a daily basis you can look for triggers like you wake up in the morning or you know you can start looking for the triggers not to ruin your day but obviously after your meditation after you have done a little bit of exercising exercising is a must eating good food is a must becoming a vegetarian is a must there are certain things that will automatically happen to you in fact i won't even need to tell you guys organically you would be noticing a big shift in your lifestyle you would be quite surprised at it and you would also be happy at it and at the same times Uh, this you know like game on and off will be happening with sickness and then becoming healthy and then becoming sick again because that's how most healers function and you all are healers all of you are going to heal this planet and you're already healing this planet just by being in the system just by being there like a lot of you also worry like what should you do or you have some kind of aversion towards like specific things and specific jobs and specific roles so the only thing that you should have aversion to is 
all of the anti-source things and all of the bad company and all of the things that you should have a clinging to or in hindi we have the word rag which means craving and aversion stands for duesh so aversion slash duesh should be for the things that i just told you and rag slash craving should only be for source integration we have actually misunderstood craving and aversion and this is again beautiful words by my master beautiful quote by him where he says that if you have craving and aversion then we need to apply it in the right places if you crave only for source integration source love then everything else will automatically get fixed because everything else depends on source love your divine counterpart or your specific person or your family bonds or your finances anything that you're struggling with your mission work everything is actually a reflection of the relationship you have with source so if you're feeling stuck anywhere you need to write it down or you need to get into therapy you need to work on every single wound step by step very patiently and you know every time you feel nice you know that there are moments where you feel nice where you feel relaxed and that's the only reason why you want to pursue this journey further because whenever you are in alignment it is like the best place to be in being present even if it's for a single minute you know that that's the that's the place where you are in complete alignment with all of your chakras all of your energy everything is working great as soon as you're off the present moment you will notice everything starts feeling dim and dismal so this is where i'm going to close this particular channeling session you can get my book in the name of love a journey of finding your ultimate soulmate and all the details are mentioned in the description box along with the amazon kindle link for the book which is the most latest and recent copy along with all the stuff you need to know about the therapies my email address is there the paypal link is there the only deviation is for indian people you have to email me to get the paytm or gpay details to book the sessions for everybody else it's the same paypal link it works in every other country and one more thing i want to tell you guys is that be very careful of what you're hoping for or what you wish for and this is like a very old saying that whatever you wish for everything comes true so be very careful of what you wish for and in the twin flame ascension journey one thing we need to go away from is desire and guess what the whole world is putting you into desire 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 especially the desire for the 3d union all right so on this amazing and honest truthful sincere note i'm going to say bye to you for this one and i will see you soon in another one one love peace out and jai shri ram